Hello, happy Tuesday everyone. My name is Tiffany Clymer and I am coming at you today with our RTI Tip Tuesday. Administrators, listen up because today I am talking to you. Last week we talked about the importance of developing an RTI school task force and this week I wanna spend just a little bit of time talking about the role of administrators in your RTI system. Now, we're all in this same boat together when it comes to RTI. So administrators, you're in the boat, but you're not doing all of the steering. This is when you're going to be able to delegate some responsibilities to those individuals that you have worked closely with to develop that RTI system through that RTI school task force. Now what's really great is that you're not doing all of the steering and that means that you are going to be able to become an observer, wear a different hat during your involvement with the RTI school task force and with the RTI system. When you're having decision point meetings, you don't necessarily have to be running those meetings. You can delegate that responsibility to someone else on the team so that you can sit back and you can be listening to the conversation, thinking about it from a whole school perspective instead of one individual student. That's what the task force is doing. They're there to brainstorm for that one particular student. But you, however, can be thinking about, is this the same thing that we just talked about for the last student? Is reading comprehension the same issue that we're having over multiple grade levels? And so you can start to think about the effects that, that you are experiencing in your building in regards to RTI from a whole building perspective, since you're not having to be so focused on one particular kiddo. So it's kind of a new opportunity for you to listen with different ears in that particular situation. What's really great is that you also have selected these individuals that are on your school task force, and you've probably spent a lot of time working together on achieving these goals with your RTI system. Trust the people that you have selected. You have worked closely with them. You all are aware of what those goals are, and now you get to step back and delegate instead of micromanaging the situation. I know that it's really easy to do that because I myself am, a, am very much a micromanager, but when it comes to RTI, that delegation is very important, and you as an administrator have to be willing to trust the individuals that you have worked closely with so that the goals of your school when it comes to RTI can be achieved. I also want you to be sure that you are providing that support to the RTI team. This is supporting those goals that you understand that this is a priority for your building. And I'm not just giving, talking about that lip service that, oh yeah, this is super important and this is what we're gonna be working on as a building because we all know that teachers aren't gonna buy just the, those words. They're waiting for those actions. They wanna see it for themselves. They wanna see that you truly mean that. And so that means that you need to have a physical presence during those RTI intervention groups. You need to be popping in. You need to be making sure that teachers are doing what they're supposed to be doing during that time period. You are the accountability piece. The RTI task force cannot be responsible for that accountability piece. You have to make sure that you are there and, and kind of coming with, with those very difficult conversations if need be with individuals that maybe aren't doing exactly what your RTI team has discussed during that intervention time period. An RTI task force member should never have that responsibility. It should always be the administrator that is holding other individuals accountable to work towards those RTI goals. If you don't have admin presence and support for this initiative, it's gonna fall flat on its face. And that's going to be a huge disservice to your teachers that have worked so hard to accomplish this, as well as the students that are not receiving the appropriate levels of support through that RTI interventions. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in for our RTI Tip Tuesday. If you have not done so already, please feel free to check out our free RTI session. Um, you can visit our webpage at www.encompassinged.com um, so that you can get that information. You can also check us out on Facebook at encompassinged.com or at encompassinged, I'm sorry, and um, find all of those updates. We have a great session tonight on classroom management with Mandy Reinhart, and I will be offering a session on RTI in the secondary level tomorrow evening. So lots of great things coming with Lounge and Learn sessions. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.